with uh, we have a full slate um, tonight. We have Chef Alley Cat. She's a raw she's a raw food chef, and she is a um, she she has she's you know she does a personal chefing, catering. She does retreats and uh, classes on raw foods, and, and also uh, nutrition. So she's going to give us a demonstration tonight on um, uh, making a, a green smoothie. And uh, her cards are up here afterwards if anybody wants the cards. And she has some cups that people can taste what she makes. So Chef Ali, yeah. please give it up. I'll hold the mic for you. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. I've probably seen a lot of your faces on, like, at the farmer's market, but you probably, and you see my face, too, but you probably don't know what I do on the island, so I'm glad this is giving me the opportunity to kind of show you what I do and express what I do and help you if you need guidance. So um, I'm really blessed, too, that I'm here, that I get to be on this island with, you know, with conscious people and farmers who actually care and love what they do and grow and, you know, feed us with all this nourishing food. So um, I'm going to, I also brought a kale salad, which um, is, is loco and, um, and um, some people have a hard time eating kale directly um, because it's so rough and everything. So the best thing to do would be to like massage it and you put your sauce on there. And the sauce that I made tonight is a creamy dill um, cashew nut dressing. So I hope you guys have an opportunity to taste it. Um, yeah. okay. I'm I guess basically, um, I'm a raw food chef, and I'm also a Barbara Brennan healer. I graduated from the Barbara Brennan School of Healing, and so I kind of combine the two things together, being a raw chef and also a healer. Um, so basically, um, I feel that I've been given this gift to be here to help educate people and spread the word that raw food skill. And um, so I just like. Basically, if you add 50 to 60 percent of raw foods into your diet, that that would help you um, digest the other food that cooked foods aren't able to do. Because when you eat cooked foods, basically um, by cooking the foods, it destroys the enzymes that helps you digest the food. So if you add in more raw foods into your diet, then that helps you create more enzymes and that will help you digest the foods in your body rather than kind of just sitting there and um, not really moving and helping you to eliminate things. So, um, uh, let's see. so raw foods basically is not, not cooked. It's, um, we, don't, we use a dehydrator and we use a blender and we use a food processor. So basically when you dehydrate the food, it only goes up to maybe um, 115 to 118 degrees, and that's it. And then um, the food is still considered to be alive and um, has still loaded with enzymes. So I know most of you probably don't eat processed foods, but for the most part, Many people don't know that processed food is really anything in a box, or a can, or a package, or frozen goods, or microwavable foods. All that stuff is processed. And processed is food that has lots of chemicals and toxicity inside the food. So then when you eat it and cook it, then you're basically eating a lot of the toxins that kind of the processed foods carry. Um, so when you eat raw foods, it's more alive, and and all the pure nutrient, nutrients goes directly into your body versus um, having something that's kind of just stable, you know, kind of just sitting in your your body. Or and if you have like um, alive food going into your body, then you'll have more energy. You'll think clearer. You'll just be more happier, and you won't have certain things that you know go wrong with your body, like if you eat more processed foods, then you're going to tend to see have 
more sicknesses and more diseases that will create within your body. So for me, I believe that raw foods heal and your body is going to eventually organically accept the raw foods and then take in what nutrients it needs. Because everything here, like this, is very, you know, it's alive. So basically you, you're eating all the fresh nutrients in, in this kale. And you'll take in what your body needs. Um, and also if you eat like um, uh, fennel, fennel is really good for like your thyroid issues. So if you have a slow thyroid, you know, th slow um, metabolism, if you drink like fennel, that will help you. Like if you mix it in with juices and stuff, that will totally help you with your your thyroid issues and your adrenals and, and everything like that. So I, I would suggest to like have a green smoothie in the morning and probably most of you maybe already do this already, but I would just you know, like take kale um, and the darker the better and um, and then we're so blessed to have so many fruits in the island that I mean it's just so great to have this like so readily available in your backyard even. <laughs> it's just great. <laughs> and then bananas and of course the sprouts because they're loaded with enzymes too. So I'm going to go ahead and make my smoothie and um, I also make like raw spaghetti which is like not cooked and I use like zucchini and I use um, um, probably you guys know Ken, so I use a lot of his zucchinis and tomatoes and so you can basically make um, raw spaghetti. I made fajitas the other night and um, everything was really just like alive and plus you'll, you'll just feel the liveness in the food once you eat it. You'll have higher vibration, you'll resonate at a higher level once you start eating more more and more raw foods into your diet. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I have a question. Now your papayas are pretty ripe. So, so is that a normal thing when you make a smoothie? Like you use uh, real ripe fruit? Yeah, I like ripe right, just because it it makes it more sweeter, a little bit more soft. Uh -huh. Okay. And then there was a, uh, with cruciferous vegetables. Okay, I don't know. The cruciferous vegetables raw. It's my understanding that uh, they could be goitrogenic. They could uh, block the uptake of thyroxin. And for the thyroid, have you, have you, what is your um, take on that? When people are using, you know, using a lot of kale, I know you know a little bit's not a problem, but if they're using a lot of kale raw or cruciferous vegetables. Have you heard that in, in that respect? Uh, well, I don't. Yeah, I mean, you don't use a whole lot. I mean, you, when you start off with a morning, you know, you're going to only use like maybe a little bit like this uh -huh. and not like a full whole bunch or anything and then through the day you just eat little and little. I don't, um, I haven't, I don't, I don't know exactly what you're going to want from that. But I, I just know that with the fennel and that helps, yeah, it helps. Cool. Okay. I just want to do a couple of things. Yeah, I don't want to have any that's why we invited you here. Thanks. I think this is better than taking the prescription drugs. I think this is better than the prescription drugs, too. I totally agree with you. Um, you know, while she's making her smoothie here, I wanted to point out the uh, members. Please re up your membership. Now's the time to do that. Yeah. And if you're not a member, please become a member. Um, we're. Uh, uh, all unpaid volunteers for this and we want to keep our organization vital through our membership and uh, and we want we basically want to have a really strong showing at legislature this year uh, this is our time to be able to do that especially since it's so timely there's so many people out there paying attention to their food where it comes from who grew it how it was grown so legislators want this they want the information so it's cool we got so many people to give it to them right Okay, so we're taking the seeds out of there. Now, what she's, what she's, um, her waste product here is great for making fermented plant, uh, fermented fruit juice. Yeah, Dr. Cho's fermentation. So that's the kind of stuff you use. So nothing goes to waste. Yeah, that's another thing about raw foods. Nothing goes to waste. You use everything. 
I mean, I have, I make almonds, like I make an almond milk. So when I make an almond milk, I, I squeeze out the juice to make milk, and then I take the almond paste and then I make something else, like a, like a cinnamon pastry or something. So nothing gets wasted at all. I mean, it's cool. Good. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Yes, dear. I've heard that there are certain foods that only release their nutrients when they are cooked. You heard that there's yeah, certain like foods carrots, that only release their nutrients when they're cooked. Carrots is one of them. Carrots, okay. Um, Broccoli. Broccoli. So when you say cooked, Swiss do you mean like lightly steamed kind oh, of yeah, thing? Or? Yeah, steamed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Light steamed. What are you feeling about steamed yeah, foods? You know, I'm okay with you guys eating whole foods, like a whole foods. I, I'm just talking about my, my main um, uh, edu to educate people, those people who are eating processed foods. I know all of you guys probably eat very healthy. I mean, there's no doubt about that. So I, if you eat steamed veggies, that's, that's cool. I mean, it's better than something that's frozen or in a can. That's, that's my thing is trying to educate people who actually eat box processed foods versus, you know, having something from the ground and that, um, that I'm, you know, I think that's just as healthy as eating it. How about raw GMO corn? Yes. There was a, there was a situation that came up uh, 20 years ago with raw foods and it involves a pyloric valve goes from the stomach. valve. Pyloric valve goes from the stomach to the uh, uh, small intestine. And raw fruit, particularly broccoli. And, uh, Is that the ileocecal valve? Huh? Is that the ileocecal valve? Oh, from the stomach to the small intestine. Yeah, yeah. From the stomach, that pyloric okay. valve. Um, if, if it's getting raw cellulose, uh, a lot of people, it, it gets shredded. In other words, oh. we have not it's not a regular practice. If you're not used to it, don't, don't go leaping into it. Lightly steam in this very good. So mixing it up, what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing Allie Cat saying is mixing it up. Um, make sure you get raw in your diet. Just, just enough to get a wilt in it. You definitely uh -huh. want the cellulose moving through your body, but too mm -hmm. much can, can blow that thing out. Cool. And that's a bad thing. Is that Rose? Hi, Rose. Hi. I think spinach was the other one. Spinach. spinach. Yeah, and Swiss chard. The Swiss chard. That needs okay. to be steamed, steamed in order to get the new Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the oxalic acid can be added. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, brother. Yeah, I was wondering about, uh, I, I understand that the dark green leafy vegetables contain a lot of vitamin A, which also can be a habit. Vitamin A can be a habit? Vitamin K. Oh, vitamin K. Too much greens, too much vitamin K. Uh huh. People are I know Weston Price loves vitamin K. I guess it depends on how and how you're uptaking the nutrients. Yeah. Main thing, main thing, the body's uptaking the nutrients and it's not being blocked by heavy metals and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, interesting. Claudia. I, what I heard her say was to increase your raw foods, right. not totally raw, yeah. anything like that. Increase your raw I foods. 60% um, around there, you like to 50, 60, 59%, yeah. 40, 58, 58. <laughs> Mark? Uh, somebody also said that uh, melted butter on steamed vegetables increases the uptake by 40% of the nutrients. Oh, okay. Especially when it's raw butter. Uh, yeah. Oh, more, 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 more better. Okay, are we are we ready to? We got to get going. We got to get moving on to the next thing. But I want to, I want to honor her smooth here. Is Ryan here? Is Ryan here? Yes, yeah, Shizzy. I just wondered if you ever cook the sprouts. Cook the sprouts? I cook them all the time, Sue. Uh, I, I don't steam the sprouts. What I'll do is I'll take them. I'll take pea sprouts like I read it tonight. Yeah. Now, do you like raw egg in your smoothie? You don't do raw egg? Really? You don't do egg? Oh. I love raw egg. I kind of 
looks like a raw wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Some boiled eggs. Boiled eggs. Hard. That's right, hard boiled. Okay, I opened that pillow. I'll open that. Right, who wants to try some? Can I have some, please? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Not too sweet. Not too rancid. Just right. That's very good. That's very good. Come try some of this. Very good. Nice touch papaya. The greens. The greens are like real subtle. Very nice job, Alley Cat. Let's give it up for Alley Cat. Her cards are up front. Please grab her card if you're interested in any of her services. Is Ryan from Mount Bruce?